What is going on, the pride of the lions and the lions that cannot stop roaring. Welcome back to another video. Now, this is a project I have been working on for quite a while, probably like two weeks or a week and a half, maybe. But anyways, it will be very much appreciated if you guys could take the time out to make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe if you guys are new. Trust me guys, join the family, join the lions pride. It's really worth it. Uh, we do a lot of videos on here, which is gaming, shoe reviews, pranks, challenges. We do it all on this channel and I hope you guys are excited for today's video. Now before I even jump into the video, my project that I've been working on, I want to say a huge thank you for all you guys for the support you guys have been showing me. And um, it's just been crazy. It's been unreal. Like since I dropped the Yeezy video, like everything has been just going up. And before then, I used to be a gamer and it's been crazy. But anyways, enough talking. Um, this video is a parody of how Yeezy people be like. Like the hype beast and like, you know, the sneaker heads, how they love their shoes so much that they'll go out of their way for something insane. Like, you know, they'll do anything for their shoes and they don't give one damn about anybody else but their shoes. So I'm here rocking the Yeezys and I'm going to show you guys a parody how hype beast be like or Yeezy hype beast be like right now. Oh my god, I don't even know what this dot is about on my shoe. I'm pretty fucking pissed. I don't even know. What is this dot about? Babe? Babe? Oh. Do you see this dot right here? Oh my god, here we go again. But do you see it? That's clearly part of the design. But do you not see that dot? Are you sure it's part of the design? Yes, do you not see? It's part of the design to have dots like that on the shoe. They look all over the place. Oh wait, what? Do you not see it? They're all over the place right here. It's part of the design. Like, you're going crazy again. Oh my god. I always see this all the time. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Right. Alright, babe, so we're going to dinner today? Oh, your friend is meeting us there? Who's your friend? Have I seen her before? Oh, damn. That's your friend? Oh my god. Hey, how, how are you? Here, let me sit my babe down. How are you? Oh, trust me, babe, I'm not flirting with your friend. I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I just want to touch her. Oh my God. Yes, I just touched your friend, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, so, does she like me? Like, is there gonna be a threesome later, maybe? You guys wanna eat first? All right, we can eat first, we can eat first. Babe, I brought you on this candlelit dinner just to express how much I love you and how much I cherish you and care for you. Um, I'm happy you brought your badass friend with you. Like, goddamn, she's she's bad. Like, you don't understand, babe. Like, you guys are both flawless females. Like, mm, I can't wait for tonight. Honestly, can't. You guys. Oh my god. But anyways, um, babe, I just want to remember like the first time I met you when you broke my neck. Like, you broke the shit out of my neck. Like, I'm, I don't know about the guy you were with though. Like, you know, I feel like he was kind of like down there, and you know. That's why you left them for me, but, um, you broke the shit out of my neck, babe, and, like, you know, ever since then, having you around me, like, it's, it's been the best days of my life, because whenever you're near me, um, you're breaking other people's necks, that's how I know I got a badass girl, and I just love you so much, babe, and, you know, thank you for coming to dinner, and, uh, let's get the fuck on, let's go to, let's go to the house, let's go to the house! What happened? Hey, you're not walking so close to me. I'm not He's walking. My shoes. I'm not walking close to you. I'm like so far away. Hey, I got some some new shoes. What do you think I got today? Oh. You want to see what I got? Yeah. Oh my God! Don't tell me. I know. You got the easy. Yeah, I got the Yeezy. Oh my god, which colorway? You're gonna see. Oh my god, see. don't tell me they're the Bulugas. I wish. I wish they are. Oh Hold man, them. oh man, oh right. man. I'm gonna show you them. Alright. Oh snap. Yeah, they're they're fire. They're actually oh, pretty fire. Snap. They look so good in person. Yeah, I know. How did you get them? Uh, shout out to the plug fan. What's the plug? I wanna know, I wanna get them. You can. 
It's the it's the plug. It's the plug, but yeah, yeah these. Can I hold them? Huh? Can I hold them? I just want to hold them. I never got a chance to see them you, in real life. You want to what? I want to hold them. Come on, nothing's going to happen. My hands are clean. Um. What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to like throw them away or drop them or something? I think I think, I think my mom is calling me. Um, really, babe? Yeah, uh, You're yeah. not going to let me hold them? No, I, I think my mom's calling me. Oh my gosh. Oh, Yeezy Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for blessing me with a lot of different things. One thing you have blessed me with is the ability to make me break necks. You give me the ability to break people's necks so crazily that I think their head is, is going to turn backwards. Now, for that ability that you have given me, if anyone dare steps on you, I will make sure to destroy them and eliminate them from this earth. If they step on the back of you, I will punch them in their face and kill them. Now, Yeezy Lord. I also want to say a few things that you have given me. You have given me the most comfortable feeling in the world when you're on my feet. You make me feel like I have wings that could carry me to the heavens above. You also have the ability to make me feel like the most confident person, not only in my school, but in the world. Breaking necks is a passion that I have grew because of you. I love walking with you in the mall and seeing people's reactions because they're alike. I can never have you. So Yeezy Lord, just because you are mine, I want to say I owe you my life and I will forever cherish you. If you have a dirt on you, a little dirt or a little speck, I will take my saliva and wipe it off of you. Now Yeezy Lord, I want to say huge, huge thank you for cherishing me as a person and making me feel comfortable and confident. Yeezy Lord, Amen. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoying the parody. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys did enjoy the Yeezy hype parody. Uh, I know a lot of hype beasts are out there that care a lot about their shoes. I'm one of them. I love my shoes to death. And uh, if people step on them or, you know, just want to see them, I get kind of like paranoid in a way. But hope you guys really did enjoy this video. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Every like is very much appreciated. And if you guys want to join the Lion Pride Make sure to hit the subscribe button while you guys are at it as well. Uh, we do a lot of videos on here. We will cover more shoes, make a lot of more funny videos like this one, uh, a lot of more parodies, and also challenge videos with my girlfriend and family, and uh, just gaming stuff as well. So make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. Uh, and uh, the Yeezy Lord, may it be with you guys, and I hope you guys did enjoy. Peace out.